So here I am playing Yakuza 7 on a little laptop, Surface Book 2, connected to the big gaming desktop. Good game by the way. So you're probably thinking is this Steam Link? Well no, it's the Windows Store version so Steam Link does not work with that. It may surprise you that this is the built-in Microsoft remote desktop. Unbelievable. So how do you get this working? Well, on your gaming desktop, open group policy, head to administrative tools, Windows components, scroll down and find remote desktop services, remote desktop session host, remote session environment, and you need to enable the 444 graphics mode to get almost 60 frames a second. Hit OK and restart your machine. Over on the uh, machine you're going to remote desktop in from, go to the same place, remote desktop session, remote desktop client, but here you want to enable remote FX USB devices for administrators and users. Hit OK and restart. Then if all's gone well, once you connect the remote desktop, you will see other supported remote effects USB devices. Select that and you will be able to game in almost 60 frames a second with what you can see here is a PS4 controller. Now there's a reason I'm using a PS4 controller and that is because look what happens when you plug in an Xbox controller. Plug that bad boy in. Click, click. Hmm. You've selected it there. Okay. Press some buttons. Doesn't do anything. Oh wow, it's blue screen the gaming PC. That's uh yeah. Nice one. So in order to use 360 controllers or Xbox One controllers on either remote desktop, you need to install this RDP gamepad thingy Bob. Which is pretty cool. Looks like a hobby project from some really cool dude at Microsoft. Follow the instructions on the releases page. And fingers crossed. Bang! Look at that. Using an Xbox controller as as it as it should be. With pretty good performance. So this is running at about 50 frames a second over wireless, which isn't too bad. I'm doing this at 720p with the software encoding option in remote desktop. Cars bad driver. The, uh, the only laggy thing is now actually the audio, which has about half a second delay. So I wouldn't be playing any rhythm games with this, but it's pretty good for something that is almost, I mean, in theory, built into Windows. This is also probably the only way to play Windows Store games, since Steam Link doesn't pass through the, the Xbox controllers properly at all. Sweet! If you found that interesting or useful, a cheeky like and subscribe would be much appreciated. Cheers.